What is up guys? It's your boy Badge Plug and today we are back with the fan favorite Mikey Williams but today we're going to be at the 3v3 court in the stage. The sweatiest place on 2k22 maybe besides pro but today we're on the two-way slashing playmaker if you guys have seen the previous videos. This build is amazing. Six foot three slashing takeover 170 pound point guard now this build at 99 overall is like right there at the top best builds in the game it's gonna be able to get contact dunks shoot three super efficiently get the 85 ball handle dribble moves and have very good defense with almost maxed out speed and acceleration now you see the badges is 17 hall of fame finishing badges 17 shooting badges 14 playmaking and six defense the finishing badges we're using is hall of fame fearless limitless takeoff posterizer slithery finisher and bronze unstrippable into the shooting we've got gold blinders chef bronze dead eye silver green machine hot zone hunter gold sniper and stop and pop it can do literally everything into the playmaking though we've got on gold handles for days hyperdrive quick chain quick first step and silver unpluckable for the last one defense we've got on bronze chase down which you should always have on silver clamps which is your best bang for buck silver intimidator and bronze pickpocket into the animations we've got steph curry pull up we've got long athlete layup package the dunks is demar Derozan, russell clyde and leaning slams the dribble moves is quick normal basic damian lillard curry pippen moving basic spin john wall hesitation and these dribble moves are extremely good every time i go on this account i do so well i don't know what it is but anyway moving setback is jimmy butler and that's pretty much it for the dribbling now for the jump shot because people are going to ask every single video it is still jump shot three larry bird and release 128 or 126 with max speed or 75 percent whichever you know you're more comfortable with 50 50 blend now we're gonna head to the land of the drippy face scans and play some comp stage 2k22 you already know they got drippy face scans and you already know it's going to be a playmaking shot creator, a lockdown, and an inside. That's what the stage is. Every single game is the same lineup. Now, we've got a playmaking shot creator as well, the two-way slashing playmaker, and a mid-range facilitator. Build that's not even supposed to be played at center. We're taking to the stage. Now, every single one of these stage lineups is the exact same. Play shot, lock, and an inside center that's going to be able to set screens and play really good defense. They call this an invalid lineup now this isn't an invalid lineup that's taking no skill to win we're actually at a big disadvantage but that doesn't matter i'm going down the lockdown first play of the game who is used to guarding lots of really good play shots and dunking the ball i don't know how he didn't go out of bounds right there but it's okay i'm guarding ball for now and we're gonna see what we can do i try to get the steal right there i felt like it was in my hand it just didn't go there i'm playing the side Hezzy doesn't really get up enough because he got on hall of fame mismatch which isn't really his fault i mean that's just how the game is man he wasn't used to the stage and people doing that because in the stage that's all day but anyway we're gonna run down the court i don't know why Hezzy's open in the corner sniper greening so i'm always joking about drippy face scans and stuff I actually don't hate any stage players except for the ones that act like they're better than the people that play in park now you may not want to hear this if you're a stage player but i tell you what you need to hear not what you want to hear most stage players are glorified park players and that was my fault right there because i went onto the other side of the screen they're glorified park players with a meta lineup a meta build meta dribble moves meta jump shot every single thing in the game that is the best of the best in the park they're pretty much the same exact skill compared to those players and i have played many times in both places on 2k21 2k22 you see iq's dotting in the corner right there and it's great but of course there is multiple i mean 100 200 probably extremely talented great players that even i will say yes are very good at the game even with a playmaking shot creator and a meta lineup you know what i'm saying there's a difference and that has to be known in the community that there's a lot of stage players that are just part players but then as well even though they are using cheesy stuff you know what you could call cheesy they're also very good at the game anyway nine to eight into the iso this man is not able to hold me no sir you can't guard me mr lockdown now you've seen from the intro he is a 91 overall i'm in the corner iq is getting really good tips right here and now my job is to play the inside the pick and roll you see iq got destroyed right there i had to pick up i'd rather the 91 overall with like a 63 pointer shoot the three than the playmaking shot creator but anyway my role switches 
I'm now playing the pick and roll. So if the center comes down, I'm supposed to bait whether he should pass to the corner or to the inside. You see right there, IQ is getting ripped. It's 14 to 10. It's not looking good. I'm like, yo, I haven't messed up on offense yet. Let me see the ball. You know what I'm saying? Because right now I've got the hot hand and he rips me as well. Comes down, shoots a horrible shot, and we're going to get that board. Now, was that because we have a quote unquote non valid lineup and he's looking down on us shooting that shot thinking he's going to 100% win the game? I don't know. We will never know the truth. But that is why I think he took that shot. You see, off the tip, Hezzy is going to green that. And it's looking nice, okay? We're coming back. We just have to get one stop. Here we go. 14 to 12. You already know. Adore MJ. They've got all their stage names. He beats IQ right there. I come up 27% covered. That is the job of someone playing in the corner. You might not think the person sitting in the corner doesn't have a role, but they definitely do. Right there, I thought he had a wide open shot, so I came up to pick up, and I would rather him shoot than the playmaking shot creator. Now, you might not think that was going to be open, but you see me on the fast break dunking that. But at the same time, they just need that tiny sliver of space to shoot. So I would much rather the 91 overall lockdown shoot it. So you see IQ's getting the foul, and it's 14 to 14. Now, we've got the momentum. We just need to get one stop. One stop, and we're able to win this game. He dots the corner right there. Completely my fault that time, but he misses. I would say that's my first mistake on being in the corner roll because the first one I completely had to pick up. The second one was just a 50-50. Maybe he was going to have the room to shoot. Maybe he wasn't, but like I was saying, I would much rather the guy with a 63-pointer shoot it than the guy with literally a 99 Hall of Fame mismatch expert, Hall of Fame hot zone hunter, jump shot boost. You get the gist. You know what I'm saying? I could keep on going. That's how crazy playmaking shot creators are. But IQ trying to get a fade right here. He almost gets the steal off the lane and shot clock violation. Yes, shot clock violation. There goes our momentum. This is their chance now, even though it was 14-14, sorry, 10-14. We came back, 14-14, got a stop, but then we gave it up. Now it's their turn. What will they do? You see, he's coming down and just dots me. But nope, he did not. I was there to get the ghost contest or phantom contest or invisible contest, whatever you want to call it. But I fake out the lockdown and go down and dunk it. So on a lockdown build like this guy with the 63 pointer, as long as I just barely get there, I'm able to usually make him miss, which is called a bait. And that's what you want to do on lockdowns. You see right there, he takes up a very early and I'm able to get the board. That chance that I had, as you see IQ making that was 50-50. He could have greened it and then he could have missed it right there where it says open. But if you guys play 2K, you know it's called a ghost contest or a phantom, whatever you want to call it, where it's open, but it's not actually open. So anyway, 14-18, now we've got the momentum. IQ gets the steal, throws it to Hezzy Green. That's it. Comment down below. More stage. If you want to see more stage gameplay, it's your boy Badger. Plug it in, plug it in. Make sure to drop a like if you haven't yet. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. And I'm out. Peace.